sometimes being an artist is never the easiest thing to be. We're all struggling. This is a piece of, uh, I forget the name of the stone. It's like uh, calcite or something. It's in the family of soapstone. I don't know if stone's in the family. But what I originally wanted to do today is carve a backflow incense burner, but I can't find my little backflow incense burner things. <sighs> so, I've been sitting here for the last 10 minutes drinking my coffee. I probably need a refill. Yeah, I need a refill. Wondering what, I want to carve this. You know, I also got these wood spirit piece here that I made, I blocked out for the uh, video thing. I could do something on this, but I don't really want to carve this today. I want to carve this. I even got my, my carving fusion, carving, heavy hands carving tape on. I got my dust collector to carve, my old dust collector hooked up to carve this. I got my dust mask ready because definitely 100% when you're wood carving or especially stone carving, you want to wear a dust mask. And, you know, I suggest do it outside if you don't have a table like this set up. Even with a table like this set up, it's still dusty. And if you do have a table like this set up, I suggest that you don't use your dust collector because it will get into the bearings and your bearings will start squeaking because it's stone, soft or not, it's still stone. So I think I've come to the conclusion, I was thinking maybe I want to carve a, a soap holder for one of my bathrooms to hold a bar of soap. I want to carve a toothpaste, my toothbrush holder. But that's stuff that needs cleaning. And then in my bed, this was my bathroom, I'd have to move it and, you know, clean around it and stuff like that. So I don't know what I want to do. I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do to open my mind is I'm just going to start carving. That's sometimes I suggest that you guys should do is just, just get at it. And, you know, it's not going to carve itself. And anybody can do this carving, carving anything you want to carve. You want to carve a heart, Valentine's Day is coming up. So I've kind of decided, I don't know, I'm just going to hit it hard. I'm going to have my cranking, music cranking, and I'm just, I'm going to be carving hard today because I, I like to do my carvings and finish them in one day. Because like that uh, gnome home, that fairy house that I did kind of dragged on and it's not really too enjoyable for me. It is, but it isn't. I just like to carve fast, get things done and carry on. So I think maybe with this stone... What do you guys see? I'll tell you right now, when I was looking at this, I see faces everywhere. I see eyes there. I see a nose there. I see a, a side view wood spirit here with his nose coming off looking that way. I can carve this all wood spirits. But I think I'm going to challenge my hand at an owl today in here. So there's there would be his head and his body. Kind of like this. Sort of. And his wing. Just a silhouette of an owl. Um, when people do stone car carvings, like the old natives or Inuits, like soapstone or every kind of stone they had, you don't really see much detail in stone carving. It's basic shapes. Like, you know, that you'd see like an Eskimo or a, a seal or a, or a polar bear. So, you know, maybe I could cut it out and have trees around it or something. Who knows? Maybe I could even blast in a wood spirit. I think it, maybe this owl is a little bit too big. I'll make it smaller. But what I'm going to do is draw this owl on. And with this soft stone, you can use your cut saw bits. They leave marks, but you can use them. You can also use the metalwork. You can use any bits because this, watch this. Look how soft that stone is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the owl on. And then I'm going to cut on the outside of the line deep inside there to get the shape of the owl. Then I can figure out, then once I start carving and everybody too, once you start carving, that's when your mind opens up, open up, opens up. You know, I could sit here and look at this for hours and figure, oh, well, maybe I'll carve some mountains up there. Maybe I'll carve some koi fish. Maybe I'll carve some, I don't know. I'm not even sure if I'm going to carve an owl yet. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to carve an owl. I, I took the owl up higher because it's so thin up here. 
right? Because you can see this is this goes tapered down. It's so thin up here. I'll I'll make it like um so his head is negative space, so you see through there. Because then I have a chance to make some trees or whatever I want to make up here. If that makes sense to you. Or maybe I should carve a big owl. Make the whole piece an owl. But anyways, this uh, most of this video is going to be a voiceover. And um, I'll be using my Dremel 4000 with this flex shaft and this cuts all burr. You guys want to get these burrs, there's a link to the cuts all site in the description below. When I was carving and my mind opens up, another big tip that I could give the new rock carvers is, you know, when you got, when you wear glasses and you, you save, you use your glasses for safety protection, like your reading, your normal glasses, these are just uh, reading glasses cheap from the dollar store. I put these on because this stone, if you get it on your glasses and you go to clean your glasses, it will really scratch up the lenses. So maybe get yourself a pair from the dollar store or something and bigger, bigger the coverage of the eyes, the better, I think don't want to get any stuff in your eyes so this is what we got so far i was just carving and um there you go there's a silly little owl kind of got to refine the fate the up here a bit make the eyes more even you see his beak there um when i was carving this my mind was opening up thinking what i want to do down here well i love carving the wood spirits and this i think it's going to be a tree up here and a tree up here i got enough depth right um, why not just make it so it's like an artistic piece that doesn't have to have any rhyme or reason. Nothing needs to make sense, but I do want it to flow nicely together, you know, so maybe I'll do a wood spirit because you got a nice corner here. If that's the best. This one's a little bit steep to do, a, like the nose will pop off so quick. Just cut that stuff away there and you get the nose to pop off. But you know, like. Just make it all nice and blend and flow in together, you know, like just no rhyme or reason, but smooth. Does that make sense? Carry on. I know I'm talking most on this video because it's hard to film carving this. So when you see when I had the camera in the overhead, I had to protect the, the dust because dust flies with this stuff, you know, like just be safe and have fun. That's all. That's my number one tip, I guess. Yeah, sorry, I was saying about the owl. Owls can be anything you want them to be. Why I went with an owl is because they're fairly easy to carve, and they're fun to carve They they're because they're fantasy. Owls are, you know, owls sitting on books, owls with wizards and stuff. So I think owls are super fantasy, and you can have a lot of fun with them for the very beginning carvers. You know, your owl, as long as it's got big round eyes and a thing thing, it's an owl. So let's see what I want to do here. Um, so the nose will be here. Yeah, some of you guys are saying, oh, no, another friggin' wood spirit. Nose will be here. Actually, our center line's here. Maybe I need to drop it a bit. I just need to sit sit down, drink my coffee a bit more. And, um, yeah, I think I need to drop a bit. And So you got the owl wing here. How could you make it? I think I'm just going to make stuff nice and flow. Maybe I'll put some of my Japanese stuff in here. Let's make it flow right nice, right? So the trees, let's talk about the trees. So let's see, um, where do we want our tree? Where do I want our tree trunk to be? So here's a good spot for a tree trunk right here. Basically, you know, that one's kind of curved a little bit too deep there. I'll have to lower this tree trunk a bit. Just carve deeper. I don't know. And then you can, you know, so you can get your lines to blend into the trunk. Then your tree branch, your pine, it's based on basically pine trees. So the branches will be up here. Just, I'm just going to keep carving and um, just let it flow. Make everything blend in nice. That's what my goal is for this carving too. And it has no reason. And remember, for the very beginning artists or carvers, even pro artists or carvers or whatever you call yourself, it's always an experiment. If you don't try new things, you're not going to, yeah, so I'm reverting back to wood spirits, but who cares? It's what I enjoy doing. Do what you enjoy to do too.
Look who got some uh, basswood in the mail today. You just kind of cut it like that. Then you kind of just do this. The nose is already popping off. I better put my carving glove on. Nice knife just carver up. Okay, so here's the basswood I just got from uh, Amazon. Looks pretty nice. I've never, I've carved some that uh, Ben's Studio on the Lake sent me, but um, this is going to be for knife carving. What you know, you can. It's a lot quieter and less less dusty. So I'll eventually get to that using just carved rubs. Knife. I'll do a wood spirit on this or something. And I got some palm chisel things or whatever they're friggin' called. So here's what we got so far. You know, I just, when I was thinking about this, I just want to uh, say, I realized when I started having more fun carving or art or anything like that, it's when I realized I really didn't care what everybody else was doing. I just kind of did my own thing. And I kind of still stick stick by that. Just kind of do your own thing. If it works out, it does. If it does if it works out, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, um, yeah, there's still lots more to go on this. Friggin' dusty. Look at that pile out there. That's just a little pile of dust. And that's a quarter inch burr in there. <sighs> what am I going to carve here? Should I carve another wood spirit? Kind of a different shape. Um, I did that, gave that one just a simple lip that I learned from uh, sticks and stones. Still lots of detail to do on the trees, on the owl. Still lots more to go. So, I guess I'll carve this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna friggin' film it. It's too dusty to film when I'm carving. So I guess we'll do another. That one's kind of this. This guy's face is kind of. This one was kind of. I don't know. Carve another face. Maybe chain higher, lower. No, we'll make. We'll do another one. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I'm just babbling. <laughs> All right, that was actually a lot of carving in a short amount of time. You guys see my printing there? Don't forget to sign your pieces. See my printing there? I carved it in. That's actually how I do print like uh, on paper. So let's take a look at this. I just quickly carved some pupils in this, this guy. There we go. This guy's like a... Uh, uh, spirit of the sea, we'll call him. You see how I just kind of did the artsy tree roots down to the, the freaking head and stuff? That guy doesn't have pupils. You know, sometimes I had to carve into the back of the piece to give it the full effect. I sounded it, not too much. I used the Peter Blair sounding mandrel. So, now, let's, take a, just, let's just sit back and take a look at this. Oh, you guys like um, boiled egg sandwich egg? Yeah, I'll eat this when I'm done filming here. It's from last night. I had boiled egg sandwiches. Uh, I think I like that view best. That was a lot of carving in a short amount of time. All with my Dremel. Basically, I used the cut saw bit. I used the aluminum cutter to cut in the textures for the owl wings and the trees. You know that. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Everything, I had to pull everything off my table because it was just getting too dusty. So, yeah, I used this uh, aluminum cutter on edge. That one. Did you get it in the Amazon, my Amazon store on Amazon or eBay? So, now let's do a carving fusion spit test. So, there's different ways you can finish this. You can use the beeswax or, you know, the beeswax mixed with oil. I've done that on a few of my carvings, and I did really didn't like it because eventually... I don't care what anybody says. For me, maybe I didn't mix it properly. For me, it kind of just doles out after a while. So here's carving fusion spit test. So you can see how uh, dark it goes. There's not really much color grain in this, but this was a solid piece of stone. That's why I carved it the way I did. All right. Is that fantasy or is that not fantasy? So my plan... I'm going to show you guys another carving. I think I did like 
three years ago. This one here. It's Let me get this set up and uh, I'll be back. Now that was good. Okay, so here's a side view of like a wood spirit, kind of in a helmet thing, just a basic thing. So I think what I did, this is soapstone. Like I said, this isn't soapstone. I think soapstone shines up a lot better. This is BC soapstone. Me and my buddy Stu uh, got out in Boston Bar. But I think with this face, I polished it up really good. And then I left this texture in the beard. So you see it's white. It's white on the inside. And then it's polished. So you get different kind of colors. See that? I, I think that's how I did it. And I just polished the high points. I'm not going to spend, I'm not, I am not going to polish this piece. There's no friggin' way. So I think what I want to do is, once again, don't care what people, the, the rock stone pros say. I love spraying this stuff on my, all my carvings for indoor stuff. But I can't spray this on because I want my owl to be dull, like that white stuff you see in that carving, in that carving. You know, I want it to stay dull like this. So I want, Maybe I'll even keep this tree dull too. And there's a tree down here I quickly carved. What I want to do is I want the faces to be like I did, just did the spit test, did different colors, right? And then the owl just to be dull. But I can't spray this on. Long story short, I got to go spray this into a little cup. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, friggin' brush it on. I do have brush on uh, polyurethane, but um, I just like this stuff the best. So I'll get this on the cup, in the cup, outside, open my window in here, and start painting it on. On another note, I have this full bottle of CA glue, the thin stuff. I think that would look pretty good on here. But this is, I don't know how much this costs. This is like 14 bucks for a full can. I think it's probably cheaper if I do it this way because, you know, sometimes, you, you know, you could, sometimes you got to save a couple bucks here and there, right? It's not all about money. Okay, so I got some of the stuff in there from the spray can. I imagine I'm going to have to go outside a couple more times and fill this up. But um, let's see here. Um, let's just do here. And just kind of, you know, you know, this and that. Sorry, shoot the cameraman. Let's see if we can get a better angle here. I want to try and not hit that tree. And, well, that just got ruined. So, but at least not hit the owl. Okay, so let's see. And I won't do these treetops either. We'll leave those treetops uh, dull. We'll call it dull. So I got to hurry up and do this. So um, how about I, I get it done and everything's going to be done besides the, these treetops and the owl. Okay. So I even did the back too. And I only used like that much, two cups full of that uh, spray stuff. The rest of all of them. Um, I just want to take a quick second to talk about the post that I made on YouTube. It's in the community section if you guys haven't seen it. It's a poll, like a voting thing. Um, there's a new tool that I want to get for my Dremel station. And um, it's going to cost me, I think, probably all said and done about six or $700 to get here to Canada. Um, and I said, should I, you know, I, I want the community to get some of my carvings too. But I don't like to ask for money because that's not what this channel is about. And I give back way more than I sell my carvings for. Like even this year I donated uh, probably about seven carvings to charities. And I'm donating some carvings to the dry grad this year. So they can have my carvings there. There's a theme for, for or something. And uh, my buddy Tim on Vancouver Island is having a a fundraiser so I'm donating two or three carvings to that too so but I don't want you guys thinking that I'm asking for your money because that's not the point the point is you know should I just sell my carvings on 
put some of my nicer carvings on Etsy or should I have a giveaway so people have a chance you know whoever chips in say like a minimum twenty dollars whoever chips in has a chance to win like a one one of three or four carvings of mine like my better ones right so anyways on these so just so you guys understand that anyways so if you haven't seen the poll please go over to the community you can make your choice of which one you think is better for me and then I'm gonna I'm gonna use the final like percentage the one that wins the percentage I'm gonna leave it up for five days and the one that wins the percentage I'm gonna do it okay so remember lots of you longtime subscribers I've been saying on my videos lately not all of them but art's just an experiment so you can see how dark that's gone there's the owl and there's that face this is probably maybe not my best but one of my favorite Dremel carvings I did slope the owl a little bit too far back but it's okay if it's on somebody's coffee table it'll be up looking at you you know when you look at it here it faces kind of slope back a little bit too much but that's okay so the experiment part what I did is I put it all on here and then I just had a dark line going around the owl and I didn't like that you know it just kind of just seemed like it was blocky right so then I just started dry brushing that means like get some barely any of that clear stuff on pretend it's paint get barely any paint on your brush and just kind of go up like this and I did around the owls I did is in his eyes and I did this face dry brushed it that face is cool I like it it's old haunted looking dude isn't it but I like this one too it's character it's just fantasy it's whatever you want to do I'm not quite done this video yet I'm gonna let this stuff um, dry perfectly and then we'll do some more touch-ups so that's gonna be it for tonight I'm gonna to go uh, what am I gonna have for dinner don't know but I'll be this video will continue it won't be that long the rest of it it's just an experiment that's my favorite view right there look at that I think that's cool if you don't think that's cool that's fine I think it's cool okay it's now the next day and everything's completely dry no stickiness or nothing so what I want to do is because that's so dark and this is light and dark now I want to try and equal it out and make everything a bit lighter kind of because this kind of looks like it's old and weathered right so now what I want to do is actually I could give this a black wash too but I want to sand this a little bit just scuff it up I got some 400 grit here I don't know if it was recording but I'm gonna sand it I said my camera failed um, I got some 400 grit or I got some wet sandpaper here too this is the finest stuff that I have is 1200 grit I'm not gonna make it wet so let's try it with the fine and I just want to scuff it up and make it it will make it more um, carve infusion style right so but um, let me just get the sandpaper ready here okay so we'll just start off with the finest grit that's kind of well it does scuff it up a bit I don't want to scuff it up what's that there I don't want to scuff it up too much um, yeah I think that's good okay so let's uh, for example let's hit the snows this is just kind of the way I do things I like my stuff to look um, old and weathered kind of see I'll we'll kind of equal it out a bit okay I'll get this done and I'll be back for the grand finale okay grand finale time you know I could carve this owl's beak in that top part better but it's okay I could fix the eyes too but it's okay it's good enough yeah, I think this is probably my favorite Dremel carving I've done so far. I think if I put this on my Etsy shop, it'd be pretty expensive to ship, but because it's it's, a, it's pretty heavy, and I've got to pack it up pretty good. But I think this is my best view, favorite view right here. So, what do you guys think? Uh, I'd love to uh, read the comments. Don't forget, if you like this video, to please hit that like button because it it helps the algorithm get um, the channels out to there to people wanting to discover how to do new art and um yeah so remember i said how that corner was a little bit too sharp to do a wood spirit there's a thinner face you just gotta adapt and adjust 
what do you guys think about before and after I scuffed it up? I think it all goes good together now. So that's it, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, what am I going to carve? Um, next couple days here, I got to rearrange my house, start putting stuff back in place and stuff. And I already got the um, stuff, stuff done. So we'll see you next. See you later. Thanks. Okay. Got to go. Bye.